There has always been one aspect of the Trump MAGA movement that I have never been able to wrap my head around or understand completely. Now, before anyone starts typing or gets mad, this video isn't me knocking the movement or knocking Donald Trump. It is me asking the question about something that I just don't get. There has been this idea about, quote-unquote, the deep state in Washington, D.C., that behind the scenes has been controlling things for quite some time. And Donald Trump represents someone who knows all about it, but isn't really part of it, but has the ability to go in and, quote-unquote, expose these people, and then govern in some other different kind of way. The only question I would have is, what is that other way that wouldn't require an army of people? Our government is an incredibly big, complex machine. And anyone who could say that they could make all of the decisions and direct everything from one branch of a government of three branches, I think might just have a little bit of an inflated opinion of themselves. It's a massive operation. And it's not new. Many people have romanticized the idea of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table as perhaps some form of future government that we could look to to um, model after. But if you look at these men in their time, they were amongst the wealthiest, most powerful men of the time. Most people didn't know the names of all the Knights of the Round Table and where they got their power and their money and their influence to make all of these decisions for, I guess, all of what you would have described at the time as the hoi polloi, the, the unwashed peasant masses. I think you could have probably gone into a local tavern at the time and probably found discussions much like what we're having today about those high and mighty knights of the round table and where did they get off, you know, making decisions for this, that, and the other. But what if I told you, what if I told you that it was only a day or two ago that President Joe Biden tacitly admitted that he himself is not in charge of the government, that he's not running the government? Florida Maquis, there are a lot of people out there listening to every word he said. He's never said anything like that. He actually did. If you listen closely, he made a statement that if you take it dispassionately, it can be taken no other way than him saying, the only thing I have to do when I get up in the morning is find a way to beat Donald Trump. Nothing. I don't have to do anything else. Somebody else, by that admission, is doing everything else for me. Now, that might be something that a lot of people would be like, well, wait a minute. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Why isn't anybody covering that? Because you would have to take what the man is saying dispassionately and listen to what's not being said. Battlefield of the mind. The ability to put the emotion aside, pull the sails down, so to speak, and row for a little while and see where exactly you are and where you're going. It's this idea of cognitive biases and logical fallacies that we talk about at the Florida Maki Patreon channel primarily, where it's only one, only one U.S. dollar per month, even less if you sign up for an entire year and fully refundable, first 90 days, no questions asked. People come to me in the comments all the time and say, Florida Maki, I've watched all of this stuff and I've tracked all this stuff and I watch all these channels. How do you find these things and they don't? Well, the truth is a lot of these channels that are so-called truth channels or um, channels that are dedicated to um, promoting this, that, or that, really all they're doing is just assessing the emotions of their favorite newscasters and then um, spinning off commentary on that. See, Gerald Ford, man who lost an election to Jimmy Carter, said that a government big enough to give you everything you want is a government big enough to take from you everything you have. So my question again is that 
what would be the government that would replace a deep state style government? Wouldn't it have to be a dictatorship? Because if you could only, if you would say, look, I want to elect this one person and I want the government and everything to be done based on what this person wants, that sounds a lot like The Apprentice, the TV show that Donald Trump was, in, you know, paid to put on for NBC. See, there's big money donors, big money donors, Cloney, that are all saying, look, we can't win. It doesn't matter how much money we throw at this. We can't win. George Clooney alleges he had some personal encounter with, with Biden that coincided or was very uh, correlative to the Joe Biden that was seen by 50 plus million Americans. One that was doddering and unsure and um, not somebody you want to look to as a leader. And he, he penned this op-ed and boy, I tell you what, he's taking some heat for it. But nobody was asking the question, if this guy says, that this guy believes everything that he has been um, saying about, I'm staying in the race, I'm staying in the race, the only job I have right now is to beat Donald Trump. And that's a quote, by the way. The only job I have right now is to beat Donald Trump. My only job is to beat Donald Trump. If that's his only job, who's doing the rest of the things that are necessary to run the country. And if the man truly is in a state of dementia, why should he be allowed to determine whether he takes a cognitive test or not? Why should he be allowed to make any kind of a statement about whether he's in the race or not in the race or doing anything at this point and anyone around him should be, well, I'm just going to say it. Somebody needs to get durable power of attorney away from him. This needs to go, and I, I'd say this, this needs to go before a judge. This thing with Biden needs to go before a judge. Not, not a, a member of his cabinet. Somebody needs to say, hey, look, durable power of attorney needs to be taken away from this man so that he can no longer be in charge of advocating for himself. This happens every day in America. Now, it's a, you know, for the person where this is happening to, it's an awful thing because your rights are being taken away. It is strange that I don't hear a lot of people who talk about, you know, my rights this, my rights that, my rights the other, Constitution says this, Constitution says that that they don't seem to have any issue with the 25th Amendment, and for, for good reason, because there is a time that comes, there's a time that comes when you have to forcibly take away a person's rights. This is National Review. Vote for Biden, don't worry about people, other people running the country. I, I just don't think that... Uh, it's, it's an interesting, it would be an interesting question to ask. Somebody should bring up, would it be a constitutional violation of Joe Biden's rights to 25th Amendment him? Because he's alive, isn't he? He is alive and he can express a wish. He can express a wish and a desire to do A, B, C, X, Y, Z. As can a lot of people in a state of dementia. How many of you have been through the situation where you have to take away somebody's driver's license? Where somebody has to say, okay, sir or ma'am, I know you don't want to not drive yourself around anymore, but right now, right now, you are too much of a hazard. Yes, yes, we know. We know you have been driving for 60 years. And the fact that you've been driving a car for 60 years you could say, I have more experience driving a car than you do, Judge. I have more experience driving a car than my kids do, the ones that want to take away my license. I have, I'm the one who taught them to drive. Who are they to tell me? All of these arguments are what's being made right now. Who's, who's anyone to tell me to get out of the presidential race? I probably don't need to remind anyone 
that it was only a matter of months ago that Joe Biden stood up in Europe and talked about having a conversation with a man named Francois Mitterrand. Francois Mitterrand was the leader of France a long time ago and died 10 years before, pay attention, Joe Biden became vice president for Obama. That's how long ago Francois Mitterrand died. And Joe Biden, only a matter of months ago, stood up in Europe and talked about having a conversation with the man. So, I guess the final point of all of my question here is that if you want to trade an incompetent dictator for a competent dictator, a much more competent, savvy dictator who agrees with your vision for the future, don't you still get a dictator? You see, for all of the worship of King Arthur and all of the good that King Arthur did. King Arthur was the son. King Arthur was Arthur Pendragon, son of Uther Pendragon. Uther Pendragon was a tyrant who, of course, like all men, fell victim to the Lady Morgana. You see, I think half the population the women out there, and you're probably going to laugh at this, but it's the case. I think half of the women, half of the population of America, the women of America, could make the allegation about really any man that they are far too easily manipulated. They are far too easily swayed by certain aspects of their physiology. Let's just leave it there. To be trusted with the reins of government. I know that's a, what are you saying? Should we have some type of a matriarchy? Well, I think they could make the argument that men don't always think above the neck. And even when men do, sometimes they get to a point, men and women, I guess, to some extent, that others have to intervene with the help of the courts and say, we understand what your wish is. But based on what has been observed, you no longer are the best advocate for your own well-being. And in this particular case, this man cannot possibly be the best advocate for the well-being of this country. And I guess it leans to the fact that if this were the case, and here's the point. What is your point, Mucky? Here's my point. If this were the case and we had a dictator, do you know how screwed we'd be? If this were the case, and we had a dictator, and there was nobody around who could run the basic functions of government in the, in that person's absence, do you know how screwed we would be? You see, even King Arthur knew. And the Bible has said, attend unto wise counsel. And have many counselors. Literally, a deep state. There were even times in the reign reign of King David that King David was kind of checked out in the Bible. And I'm sure there were many around him that took care of the day-to-day. There's currently a series out right now. It's on... Cinemax, it was it started out as Game of Thrones, now it's called House of Dragon, where you're seeing this exact thing happen. There's a king that is put on the throne that is completely incapable of governing, and you see all of those around stepping up and taking roles. Now, in the case of Joe Biden, it's kind of a tough thing because do we hold Joe Biden accountable now? Has he really been this checked out for so long? And if he has, who really is responsible 
for the botched withdrawal of Afghanistan? Who really is responsible for inflation? Who really is responsible for the disaster at the border? Who re- If you can't say that this man has been in command of his faculties for the last three, three and a half years, which many have alleged since day one. There was allegations during the, the election back in 20 that this man was not in command of his faculties to the extent that he could have been, um, somebody had told me what it was in California, Proposition 5850, someone help me, it's called 5850, or down here in uh, Florida, we call it the Baker Act, that you can remove somebody's authority from themselves with the help of a judge if they can demonstrate that they're a danger. And I think we are far past that point. Way far past that point. But it does make the case that if this man says, look, we need to take the guy out. We need to, and I don't mean, ta- and I don't mean take him out in the way of take him out in the sense of do anything to harm him. I don't mean that. Take him out of the race. Take him out of the nomination. Put somebody else in. Just to be very clear about what I meant there. And they need to put somebody else in. If this guy, who's given so many so much money, says, look, this is what we, we have to do, I don't think he's necessarily thinking so much about the election as he is about the man. And I know there's people out there in my audience listening who said, yeah, I remember before before Grandpa passed away, those, that, those last five to seven to ten years, it was so hard to do. And it, it was incredibly hard to do. If it would be your parents, it would be a nightmare. The person that did teach you to drive, the person that literally did teach you to do everything that you, you know, raised you and provided a home for you. And, and, and whether, whether good or bad, whether you, you know, Joe Biden, evil, Donald Trump, good, you know, I mean, whatever allegation you want to make at some point, this is going to be all of us unless we meet some untimely end we're going to be at that point where somebody's going to say, okay, give me the car keys. Give me the car keys. It's done. It's too dangerous now. The chances, yeah, you can probably make the next 10 trips to the grocery store and back perfectly fine. We're not going to come get you on trip 11. We're not going to get the call on trip 15 that you're no longer with us. It's not going to happen. So, I'm just saying that if we were in a state where we had dictators, where somebody said, we have gotten rid of the deep state, we have gotten rid of all of the the bureaucracies, we've gotten rid of all of these people, and we have the one person we really want in charge, and they're in charge of anything, and then something happens to them, and something happens to them, where would we be? And ladies, help me out. What if we had a younger guy and he fell under the um, influence, just use that word, of someone who knew how to pull levers and flip switches and hit buttons, so to speak, in a way that was uh, not good for the country. I know there's a lot of people out there that perhaps have had older male relatives that all of a sudden showed up with a much, much, much younger female companion who clearly had an agenda. What if we had dictators then? Because that's, I don't know, and this is, I guess this is my question. Here we are, 19 minutes. My question is, what would be your solution to that problem? How would we not have a dictator, but then also not have a group of people in the background conducting business of the government? in the case that there something happened to the dictator compromised because of age or compromised because of perhaps the person so that's my question battlefield of the mind god bless thank you guys so much for being at the patreon channel it makes a huge huge difference in my life right now we're going to get a new video up here it's been late june we had a, a new one a really good one by the way Um, But we're going to get another one up here. I know it's the 10th of July. And 
as things begin to progress and get closer, you know, we've got August, September, basically, what are we now, to July? August, September, October. You could sign up at the, at the Patreon channel and take advantage of your 90 days, you know, no risk. And it would be October before you would have to say, okay, I would like my money back or, you know, it's worth my dollar a month. It'd be October. I mean, we talk about one month to the election. So there's definitely going to be a lot of things going on. Um, but God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.